Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Chris from the Chris and Chris Show, and I'm back at y'all with another banger. Today we gon' we gonna do a little something different, man. It's the it's my new sim. It's called What's Next. So obviously September 17th, Mexican Independence Day weekend. We had the trilogy closing of Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin, where Canelo dominated Golovkin, winning a unanimous decision. Which makes him now 58 wins, 39 wins by knockout with two losses and two draws. And this is just an update on what should be next for Canelo. And obviously, if you know him, everybody that knows me knows I'm a Canelo Alvarez fan. The dude's been very active over the last three years. If I'm not mistaken, dude's had like seven fights in two two years. Um, he says he doesn't really do road work because of his knee. He has inflammation on his knee. And that he had hand problems after during, after the Bivol camp leading up to the Golovkin. Um, I just feel the dude just needs a break, man. 2023, he should just sit down on the shelf because your body does need rest. He's for somebody that's in the top four in the pound for pound. You don't see nobody. You don't see Terrence Crawford. You don't see Inoue. You don't see any of these guys in the top five. Earl Spence, which have all these guys have major respect for. But if you really look at it, these guys. Are not even fighting three times a year this guy's how many like i said six seven fights in the last two years so i just think he needs to rest he just just takes for the whole september i mean the whole 2023 off get surgery just relax the body relax his hand you know on top of that he's been going up and down the way he'll go to he's also talking about rematching before so think about it, he's going to 168 175 back to 168 and to go back to 175 that also might take a toll on his body so i believe man he hasn't from six, September 17th to May, who knows, May 2024. He Obviously, I don't think he'll do it, but I think that should be the right thing to do just because of your body. The dude's just been way too active over the last two years. And he's either damned if he don't. Let's say if he somehow comes back and he wants to fight a Charlo or Benavidez, then it'll be he's ducking Bivol. Bivol beat him. That's why he don't want to rematch. And obviously, if he goes try to get hit back in blood against Bivol, then he's scared of Benavidez, he's scared of Charlo. So he's damned if you do, damned if you don't. But even obviously me being a Canelo fan, I don't agree with the I don't want to fight Mexicans thing. And then to come out saying I'll fight anybody. I'm a big Canelo fan, but you can't say, oh, you don't want to fight Mexicans. It's, that's to me just sounds completely stupid. It just doesn't make any sense. There shouldn't even be a reason. Oh, I don't want to fight. I represent Mexico. Okay, they represent Mexico too, but they're in your way. They're in your way of greatness, so they should go out. Every fighter should feel like this no matter where they're coming from. But that's just a quick segment for me, man. It's your boy Chris from the Chris and Chris Show. I'm going to keep it light, keep it tight. Make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Peace.